Every two seconds, someone in the world experiences stroke, and one out of six people will have it at some point in their lives. Stroke is one of the most death and disability causing disease. The consequences of stroke can be devastating. Not only stroke can kill you, but it can also leave you paralyzed or unable to communicate. Only effective treatment can help you rehabilitate. Cerebrate is a mobile app that aims to ease post-stroke recovery and improve the lives of millions of people. Our mission is to improve the life of post-stroke patients suffering from aphasia by making the relearning process easier with a modern and affordable solution that connects a patient with history caregiver and doctor. We are planning to provide post-stroke patients and ones who are helping them to heal with a structured recovery program and a link community to plan stood. There are benefits for medical institutions too. Our app will be also a platform for monitoring patient development without unnecessary personal contact, which is especially important during the COVID-19 outbreak. According to computer analysis, the Cerebrate app has six unique features. There are free version, aphasia and cognitive functions treatment, augmented reality, caregiver and caretaker options, and of course, gamification and progress record. Firstly, the splash screen appears. After that, the user chooses whether he or she is caretaker or caregiver, and registration follows. Here, the patient indicates mood and hours of sleep. Here is the sports window, where the videos of physical exercises are placed. You can set a timer for each exercise, about 3 minutes on each. Exercises are aimed to strengthen the patient's cognitive abilities. Choice of 5 games is offered. The first is for simple mathematical tasks, where the user must select a larger number. Answers for mathematical expressions are very similar in value. This is done in order to make it less obvious which answer is right. The second game trains the patient's visual memory. Nine images for memorization and timer for 30 seconds are placed. After 30 seconds or clicking the button I am done, the game asks whether a certain picture appeared at the beginning. You need to overcome 20 stages to successfully finish game. The third game uses augmented reality. The camera recognizes the image of lava, which activates the AR. The user's engagement is constant in the interactive game, where he or she needs to cross obstacles. This game is useful for stroke patients who have problems with spatial thinking. In order to prevent aphasia, in the fourth game, words of whole tongue twisters are needed to be pronounced. The user's speech is converted into text, which is checked for correctness. In the fifth game, two images of people appear at each stage, and the patient must distinguish acquaintance or relative. The photos are sent in advance by the caregiver. Another feature is the monitoring of blood pressure, where augmented reality is used too. The caretaker points the camera on the tonometer and takes the reading by making a screenshot. The next function of the app is the patient's medication tracking. The user can add the name of the medicine to the list of pills and set notifications. The communication between doctor and patient is maintained through a chat, and in case of an emergency, the caretaker can send his or her location to the doctor by clicking on this icon. Additionally, the phone starts to vibrate to catch the attention of surrounding people. The instructions of stroke recognition and call into an emergency are provided if someone would try to help. The caregiver's display mirrors the mood and sleep statistics of the caretaker, as well as providing progress in the patient's location. I decided to participate in Tiktovation and knew only Dilara, who was my friend for five years. Looking for someone new, I accidentally stumbled on Madina's Instagram. And after the first meeting, we decided that we need someone with strong scientific knowledge. And that's how I remembered Kibriano. Without doubting this girl's readiness for action, I turned a blind eye to the fact that we're from different schools. Before Technovation, I was good friends with Emily, so she was the one who supported me last year when my grandmother died from stroke. When she offered me to join her team in Technovation, the number one thing that came up to my mind was to construct an app that will help with post-stroke recovery. Even though I understand that they cannot help my grandmother anymore, we as a team, the wave strongly believe that we can help to save millions of other people's lives. All team members participated in addition and deeply studied the code faced some troubles with COVID-19 outbreak because before the quarantine we were able to meet only once a week already, so we felt a little bit lost at first. However, thanks to everyone who is contributing to technological development, we were able to get it together. And personally, as someone who is willing to pursue a career in management, now I know that I can overcome any critical situation as soon as I have a supportive team. But more importantly, I gained new friends and people who I share the same values with. Stay safe.